Evidently, New Zealand has pink lumber. As soon as I seen this video pop up, I, I had to check it out because I've never seen pink lumber a day in my life. Our lumber looks like this. So, um, I, I definitely have my fair share of experience with lumber. I've done random construction and, and oddball remodeling things, you know, off and on uh, in my life. So, this one's definitely interesting because, like I said, I've never in my life seen pink lumber. So, there, there's, there's obviously a reason for it, right? We're going to find out. They're not just doing it for no reason. Why, why would they do that, you know? Uh, it's not it's not a color coded thing and of course you know you're going to be sealing it up with your drywall or w whatever nobody's ever going to see it so it serves a purpose and we're going to find out what that purpose is yeah that looks crazy to me like Kind of ridiculous, actually. Yeah, ours is more like... I mean, really, it's not even this color. Our wood is usually made with, like, a sort of pine. Which, this may be pine. I see a lot of knots, but I don't know. It's not a natural look. And then, obviously, the pink's not, but... Pinus radiata is the main tree we use here in New Zealand as a sustainable timber to build with. Okay. So it is a form of pine. It is suited to our environment, it grows reasonably quick and does what it needs to do. But one of the problems is if you chop a piece of pine down, leave it on the ground, it'll start rotting almost immediately. So Back it rots really easy. So they're using a different kind of pine, I would assume, than the pine that's around here. Which, I mean, I guess it would rot if you do have it sitting on the ground and stuff, but not. I don't think it's not to a drastic degree, right? So the pink is probably a, a, an, a treatment or a chemical agent or, or something, I would assume, that they put on it to keep it from, from rotting, right? Back in the day, we used to build with a lot of native timbers like Rimu or also another alternative from overseas is cedar and these cedar. are a great example that is naturally water resistant and doesn't need any additional treatment oh, cedar smells great too if you're going to use pine in building you're going to have to pump it full of chemicals so that it doesn't rot and so that it doesn't get eaten up by insects and so that it stands the test of time okay so He's saying pine in general, which is what our two by fours, our lumber is made out of. We don't, I don't think they treat it like that though. So, I mean, I guess there is a lot of places where, you know, the wood can rot out and stuff. So I guess that would explain why we just have crappy, cheap lumber that's not treated. America, right? <laughs> So what happens is you get your piece of pine and it gets chopped at the mill and shaped and then it goes into a special room and they basically just pump it full of chemicals. Our pine looked exactly what it looked like going down that. I mean, obviously minus the bark, but our, that's exactly what our lumber looks like. It's clearly not treated. So is this a pressure tank? Vacuum, okay. The vacuum chamber. Okay, so that would definitely suck it right into the pores where it's infused. There's six categories, but the best way to look at it is there's really two categories, inside timber and outside timber. Hold on. Why is there a net over this? He's just glossed right over it. I've never seen a net over a frame building in my life. I wonder what that's for. It's not to keep birds from flying in. I mean, the whole sides are open. 
But the best way to look at it is there's really two categories, inside timber and outside timber. Inside timber is broken into untreated H1.1 and H1.2. Okay. Now the H1.2 is the main one that we use for framing and you can tell that because it's pink. Now the pink additive means it's been treated with boron. So believe it or not, insects love to eat timber. You know, your house can get eaten from the inside out. And before you know it, all their structural integrity has been eaten away by these tiny little insects. So that's why they pump it full of that. They also prevent it from fungal decay. Basically, that's where there's a chance of like moisture getting in there. And then basically it's a breeding ground for stuff to grow and just slowly, again, deteriorate the strength of your timber. So, so H1.1 is the same. It we do have treated lumber. It's not like we, it's just non-existent. Um, and it's made, of course, for outdoor applications. You know, if you're trying to make a deck on the front of your house or a porch or whatever you want to call it. Um, but it's not, it's still not pink though. It's uh, honestly, it has like a slightly yellowish green color, but like it still looks like the natural wood just with like a hint of like a greenish yellow, I think. But it, it's not drastic at all like the pink. It's not pink though. It doesn't have boron added to it. So H1.1 protected against insects, H1.2 protected against insects and fungal decay. Okay. Now you're probably wondering what's H2. Well, we don't really care about that here in New Zealand. That's for our friends over the ditch in Aussie. It just covers termites. And so we don't really have a termite problem here in New Zealand. Tick, no termites, no, no snakes. She'll be right, mate. So H2. No snakes? Hold on, I thought Ireland was the only place that didn't have snakes. Do they not have snakes in New Zealand? I know that has nothing to do with this video, but I'm, I'm learning a lot. Tick, no termites, no, no snakes. No She'll be termites. right, mate. So H2 no is huh. very similar to H1. It, it can be blue timber as well. Do you guys have this in Europe too? Smash the like button. Yeah, do that. Hit the like button on my channel too. So, I mean, I'm not going to, you know, sit here and watch the rest of this video. This is just getting into all the lumber stuff. But I, I found out why the lumber's pink. It's treated. If you guys want to see the rest of this video, of course, there will be that link down in that description section. So make sure you go head over to that original channel. And you guys have a super fun, awesome day. I'll catch you in the next one. Take care. Bye.